Good morning, everyone. I just came out back, and as you can see, neighbors are definitely getting new furnace of some kind. You got copper pipes going inside the wall there. That must have been what he was drilling yesterday. Pick these fucking wires up. So I was thinking, and I want to try to make a bowl piece holder because. I got about 30 something ball pieces and all of them are in a big glass or big plastic jar sorry but uh, when I looked in the plastic jar at the very bottom I have a broken ball piece in there and if I just leave them all in that jar and keep putting more in there they're just all gonna end up breaking so I want to make a nice little holder for them so I think we're gonna use one of these here Popped up out here. Carol Baskin. You bassin. Come on. Don't want to fuck up a nice piece of wood. There we go. don't look too bad I don't know I just got looking and I don't know I'm thinking I like this piece a bit more it's cut a bit nicer this one's a little bit jankety on that edge so this one looks a bit nicer got our nails pulled out piece of woods looking not half bad now we just got to find uh, some drill bits and whatnot, get a drill out, should be mint. Well about 25 minutes later, I've sourced one of my drills, found some drill bits, so I better go give us some power, and then uh, we'll grab that first block that I got, and then we can use that for a test. We can test out some different hole sizes. Well, our good old fucking antique drill here is ready to go. So yeah, we'll get to her. might work. I'll have to go grab a ball piece. Well we just went inside and we got a 18 millimeter ball piece and we got a 14 millimeter ball piece. The 14 fits in there like a glove you know it's not like tight to the point where you got a fucking grief on it to get it out but it's not like loose to the point where it's gonna fucking fall out or anything like it's in there. Yeah, like, look at that. Just like a fucking blizzard. So it's in there, but it's not, you know, you don't have to reef it out. So I think that's the perfect size. And yeah, on the final one, we're just gonna, I wanna do Rosa 2 down the block, so I think it'll look mint. Well, we're getting somewhere. Making pretty good progress. Um, it's in there, man. It's in there, man. It's in there, man. It's in there, man. It's gonna be perfect.
I got all my holes drilled. And I know they're not 100% the same size or fucking 100% straight. But at the end of the day, who cares? I'm making something pretty cool. I'm going to love it. And that's all that matters. Just came inside quick. Got all my 14 millimeter bowls in there. It's friggin' mint. And uh, I didn't even count, but I had just enough holes for all my ball pieces, so it was perfect. Now I just have to try to find a bigger drill bit or some shit so I can make one from 18 mils. Yeah, I'm happy. Looks friggin' awesome. Well, now we need to try to make a hole that'll fit these. Cause this one's a tad small. But I think that this is one of the biggest drill bits I have, well, that I can find anyways at the moment. So I might just have to try rounding it out a little bit. So uh, we'll see what happens. Well, that didn't work. We just ended up making a big old fucking mess. So, um, I don't know. Need to locate a bigger fucking bit. And I'm not 110% sure if I got one. Or if I do, I don't know where it is. So, gonna have to figure something out. But I'm starting to feel rain drips hitting on my back here. I'm not liking that. So, uh, before it starts raining too much, we might take a trip of shit up to the fort. Cause we got quite a bit of stuff we're supposed to take up there, like that cabinet there, the walker, those grills, what else, um, I know there's some other shit, I just can't think of it right now. Really not 100% sure what's going on now, it's starting to rain harder, but my buddy just messaged me and wants to pay me for a ride to Belleville, so I'm gonna go inside, charge the phone up, See exactly what the weather forecast is, message him back, and yeah, see what the plan is. I swear, when one person hits me up, they all start hitting me up. Fucking Hayden asked me if I wanted to go with him and Max to the fort. Joey wants me driving to Bridge North around 4.30. I gotta go with Maddie once I get back, go to Customart, get cheap some food. Oh, fuck your mask, I'm running. And then yeah, we're gonna go pick up Liam now. Then on our way to fucking Belleville, go and trade some shoes again. And we are on the road. And go grab Liam. Sit at this light for like five minutes. I don't know why I come this way. Every time, it's always red light. And I'm always stuck sitting here. But every day I still choose to come this way. I don't know why. Well, we're almost fucking back at home now. Fucking Liam's gonna steal the Wi-Fi for a quick minute. And we had got no subs right now, because I had to disconnect my wire the other day when the truck was acting up. So we're going to hook the subs back up and get the Wi-Fi so we can get the phone number. And we're on the friggin' road. Fucking crappy. Fucking crappy. We're waiting on Liam to finish using the Wi-Fi. Then once he's done, we're on the friggin' road. Belleville, here we come. Fucking crap. Fucking making our way to town, just past the reptile zoo. Fucking crappy. Woo! Fuck, look at that old Chevy sitting in there. There's always old cars in there. Look at this guy, just fucking brabby. Just going for a rip, are you, bud? Rip <laughs> Fucking coming into Marmor now. We're almost there. We'll be there in about 20 minutes or so. Fucking beautiful day out. Yeah, it's actually not too bad. Seems nicer down this way than it is back home for fuck's sakes. Well, we fucking made her to Belleville, did we ever? Holy shit. But, uh, I, I just remembered, last time I was in Belleville, I, uh, rented that car dolly so my cousin could pick up that Honda Civic. And I remembered, I got about $15 in cash sitting there waiting for me. So, we're gonna go down there quick while we're here. Hopefully they're open, I can grab that. Then we'll stop at the gas station. Then Liam can uh, trade his shoes Beep and whatnot. Beep. And then yeah, back off to Peterborough. Oh, we friggin' made her back to Aqua Bay here. Aqua Bay, bud. 
cars. And uh, they seem to have lots of cars in the parking lot. We called, we didn't get an answer though. So I'm gonna go in here, show us some ID, and they better still have $15 waiting for me, because they said they did, so I'll be expecting it. Well, I got my money. Aqua Bay, if you ever need a dolly again, we will definitely be using you. But for now, we'll fucking see you. Well, after about a half hour of conclu uh, the the this conclusion, we got... Got, got the pack. Oh yeah. Pack the pack. Pack the pack. Mm. Pug man. Pack. <laughs> a tractor. Big bitch of a fucking tractor. Look out. Holy mm. fuck. Just gassed up and got a full tank again. But look at that. Jimmy's sitting there. Fuck. I'd, I'd love to have a fucking tug of war blazer against a Jimmy. That'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, it would, eh? Fucking got a three we car fucking, line up. We're bending numbers here, folks. Took us an hour and 34 minutes to get to Belleville, and it's not even been an hour yet, and we're almost back home. But that's the difference between doing 80, 100 there, and like 120, 30 home. So it does make a difference. So for those people who say speeding doesn't get you anywhere faster, I don't, I don't know if that's entirely true, because it does. It, it, it really does. Well, we fucking made her back to Peterborough in record timing, folks. 58 minutes from Belleville. Fucking pedal right to the floor, boys. Yeah. Literally. All right, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Are you in the bitch? Got a fucking piss damn bad. We made her with two minutes to spare, doing like fucking buck 10 around town. But well, fucking look at it, I got pissed like a racehorse though. So we're gonna go right here. I'm gonna stick my bird out. We're gonna have a little fucking piss. And yeah, it's heavy fucking bitch. Oh, fucking welder, holy fuck. Hey, babe. Jesus Christ. Is it a nice Ready one to go. Nearby? Brand new welder. Anyone need a barbecue? Fuck, brand new barbecues for sale. Let me know. Also got two welders in the box. Fuck, 40 bucks. Let me know. We fucking made her back to the house. Been a long day. Time to grab Maddie. We're gonna go get Chief some dog food and whatnot. Fucking pet smart cock sucking horse. Only curbside pickup. So we're going to fucking Wally World or some shit. Get all the fucking food in there. Never have to wait for a line here. And just do what you need. Oh, lost Matt. There goes the Jimmy. We got Chief some fucking food. Thirty dollars later. Better fucking enjoy. It. Damn, son, <laughs> would you look at that? Those fucking rims are a beaut. Yeah, buddy, I'm getting your car on video. He sees me. Those fucking rims are a beaut. Yeah, Alright, Timmy's. I need a couple drinks. Starting to fucking cool down now. Getting chilly. Time to go home. <laughs> it's gonna be dark here in a bit. Fuck, we've had a long day today. Long day. Well, uh, not too sure what happened, but there's a tinging on my passenger side, and I'm pretty sure it's my brakes, because I only have one caliper slider in there, and I think my second one may have fell out so my brakes I, I believe my brakes are basically just sitting on the road and listen to this that's when I hit the brakes so yeah I don't know I think I might have lost a slider or some shit but uh since I got some money I might have to call a uh, auto parts place there and see if I can curbside pick up a couple caliper slider and some brake pads 
folks, listen to this. Definitely need some pads. I already knew I needed pads though, but I think that second slider fell out. Cause she hasn't been making this noise before. Not driving anyways. 